Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day it's been. Hello, guys. How are you, my favorite people? It, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Angela, and I am a business, I'm an online business entrepreneur, and I am the face behind this business page. So welcome, and thank you very much for watching this broadcast. If you're watching, please drop a comment, tell us where you are watching from, give us some likes, some loves, and feel free to share this. So today I'm going to, oh gosh, I'm going to be, I'm going to go deep into um, why I started this business. I have probably said so many times why I started this business, but somebody suggested that I should dig deep and come up with a real reason I started this business. And I must tell you, all that deep introspection is quite emotional. <laughs> so, yeah, you know how sometimes you think you started something because, yeah, you started it, but then when you start digging deep into why you really started it, you start unearthing something, some unpleasant, some good, but nonetheless, here we are. I said I'm going to do it, so I'm going to give you guys the down low on why I started this online business. Hey, Abby, how are you doing today? Probably should have my tissue closed by just in case. I start tearing up. <laughs> yeah. So, oh yeah, I've written some some notes just so that I do not forget because I want to really be real with you guys today. So, the reason, the real reason, I started this business is because. I was really tired of working for other people. I mean, we all do get tired of working for other people, right? And we decide to leave if you've got the guts to leave and start your own thing. Or you probably are just too afraid to take that leap of faith. So you stick it out. And I have, over, over my career, started some businesses and but I never quite understood why that was I started thinking back to when I was young when I just started my career I think I was probably three years into it I really had I, I've been fortunate enough to have really good jobs and I had this really fantastic job that job taught me everything that I know about good leadership because my boss was fantastic in as far as delegating tasks and just making you feel like you were a superstar. And I loved that company. I loved working for, for him. But along the way, we had an altercation which ended badly and I walked out of that company. A lot of nasty words were said and it really did hurt me that um, somebody who thought that I was an asset to this company could say such things to me. So anyway, I left and I decided never again was I going to work for somebody. But I didn't quite have the guts to uh, to start my own thing. So I went back and I started working for another company. And it was fantastic again. Really had a great time. But um, as luck would have it, um, I fell out <laughs> with, with my boss. <laughs> Maybe I'm the one who's got a problem, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, I fell out with my boss and I decided that that was it. I had enough. I was not going to work for anybody else. So I went to study my own thing. 
struggled through it, kept at it. Um, sometimes I didn't even have bus fare just to go to the office, but I persevered and I did it. And then I decided, you know what? It wasn't working. I had put it, I had put in everything that I had into that business, but it just wasn't working. So I went back and looked for another job. And the, the cycle kind of repeated itself. I'll work, I'll stop, and I'll start something else and uh, go back to work. But I just got to a point where I was kind of like, you know what? I need to now have real focus. <laughs> So I'm a really good employee, Abby. I'll have you know that I'm a really good employee. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so at some point I realized two um, two things. So number one, yeah, even though I do make a great employee, I am also quite difficult. I'm very vocal and I love expressing myself, and sometimes it doesn't it doesn't get received very well. Um. But I also hated the office politics where it's not the best ideas that win, but it's who the sacred cows are. And I don't understand the whole concept of sacred cows. So yeah, I'll just step on people's toes. So I was tired of trying to always be on the right side of office politics and I need to just you know stop with all that um, I hated knowing that your boss regardless of whether this is the owner of the company or it's just your manager could determine your future whether you remain in the company or you don't yeah so anyway I decided that I'd had enough of that but I also noticed that running my own businesses took a toll on me. While I had the best intentions and I had great ideas of what I wanted to do, I found myself struggling in trying to keep together the, all the different parts of a business. Being on top of everything just took so much out of me. And you know, when you're starting and you're bootstrapping, you don't have resources to employ other people to come and help you. So you, you basically end up doing everything yourself. And I get home at the end of the day exhausted and I would find that I didn't have enough time set aside to do the strategy bits of my, my business because I was concentrating on the revenue generating activities, which as any entrepreneur understands, those are the things that you end up focusing on because you need to pay bills. It is, it is quite a strain, it is. So when I saw this business, despite the fact that I loved that it was online, despite the fact that I loved that there was a whole community of people, despite the fact that this business, this online business, generates huge amounts uh, of income, the one thing that I loved was knowing that I didn't have to be on top of every single thing in my business. I didn't need to worry about the moving parts. Even though the business is mine, the way this business is structured is that there is training provided and that training is kept updated. If you've ever been on an online business, an owner of an online business, you understand that what happens on social media, what happens in terms of um, digital marketing is ever changing. Now, if you're to be running your own business and trying to keep an eye on all those changes, you're just going to feel so depleted of energy by the end of the week, the month, the year. And sometimes you're not going to know of the new changes. And I'll give you an example of my blog. I've got a blog, yeah, for my other business. And um, it's on Blogger. But I came into the blogging sphere a bit late. And everybody had moved from Blogger and they're now on Medium. 
And I was like, uh, I can't keep chasing people. You know? So I kept it on Blogger. But seriously speaking, if that blog had been everything about my business, then I'll be stuck. So this is the thing about being online. You constantly need to know what's happening, what's in vogue, what's changed, what's no longer acceptable, what's now acceptable, where should I be, who should I be with? And so with this online business, I can relax knowing that somebody else is taking care of all that for me. So all the moving parts are handled for me, which then leaves me to do the revenue generating activities and the strategy bits that I am good at. So I get to delegate the tasks that I'm not good at to other people. And those are people who are not charging me for the service. So it's not like I'm employing somebody to do it. It comes as a package with a business. So in case you're wondering, just so this business, what does it do? So with our business, it's an online business, we do have products from which we earn huge commissions. We do get extensive training, step-by-step. -step. It's updated, like I said, on a regular basis. We've got people, I'm not tech savvy, I did a presentation the other day about sales funnels and all that. Imagine if you had to create your own sales funnel, which I have done one in the business. I do not intend to do a game. But if you were to do a sales funnel on your own, you can just spend days, weeks just focusing on that. And that's taking the ball, that's taking your eyes off the ball, the business. Yeah. So I don't have to do that. I'm not tech savvy, like I said. But there are people in our community who are providing us all their support. They handle all that back end for me. All I have to do is show up for my business and do the things that I need to do. So all the heavy lifting is handled for me. And I also get a mentor and a coach. If you need to succeed in business, it is imperative that you have somebody that you run ideas off of, somebody who can motivate you when you're feeling down, somebody who can hold your hand because they're there to help you. And like, did I say that I'm not paying for this mentor? Yeah, I'm not paying for the mentor and I'm not paying for the coaching. Again, it comes as a complete package with the business. and. The most, the biggest blessing as far as this business is concerned, as far as I'm concerned, is the community. I am surrounded by success. So anytime I start questioning, every time I start thinking, maybe this is not for me, I look around me and I see people who've come from worse off backgrounds than myself who are acing it in this business. I see people who the previous week were struggling with one thing, but this week they seem to kind of get it. And that just motivates you as well to do better. So, guys, this is it. This is really why I started this online business. I am incapable of multitasking. I find it very difficult to keep on top of all the moving parts of a business. And so this business fit in with me as an individual. It amplified the best parts of me. And it also helped to keep away my weaknesses. So as an online business owner, all you see is what I'm good at, but you, somebody's handling the bits that I'm not good at on my behalf. And I don't have to pay them to do that. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this broadcast. I look forward to seeing your comments. Tell me what you thought and how, what you think of yourselves as to why you're doing what you currently currently doing yeah take care guys
Bye. Bye, Abby. See you next time.